Hey everybody, welcome to another video. It's been a little over a week because I didn't have a lot of time recently and I really like to film these videos when nothing's going on at all. Um, the kids are tied up, uh, the wife is not here, it's just me and you. Uh, I just got done filming some gameplay on the Duo with Game Pass. I'm using the controller and I'm using the actual Duo together. Uh, it'll actually be at the end. It's gonna see, this video is going to seem a lot longer than it really is because of that. But I'm actually running into some issues right now with it anyways because apparently it doesn't want to exit. So it doesn't want to exit at all. And I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, I don't want to do that right now. Is there an issue with the network itself? No. So I was trying to play Dragon Quest Echoes. I was going to test um, the actual touch features after I played. Uh, it was Dragon Age Inquisition I opened up and used the Xbox One controller on. And it seemed to be fine. However, there was there's a lot of uh, tearing at first. I'm not sure if I got that on video. It might have been before I actually turned the recording on. Uh, but I literally started it from scratch. Never played the game before. Created a character and Inquisition and everything and just had a few minutes of gameplay and it's actually just video because there's no actual gameplay at the beginning. Um, so everybody could actually just see how it looked. Um, it looks pretty decent on the screen. The problem is is that it won't fill this once the game actually starts. Okay, What it's going to do is it's going to bar out the top and the bottom because it has to be in 16 by 9. It, unlike PCs that can't change to a 3 by 2 aspect ratio, which is something I really would like to see them do, um, especially when they do the PC cloud version. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm going to do some more research and find out if there are certain games already that are PC cloud, but the Inquisition was not. They still have um, the old version of Madden on it. We're, going, we're in 2021. The new Madden has been out for what, five months now, and it's not on there, which is very interesting. This is still loading. Um, but anyways, this phablet, yeah, you notice I've called it a phablet, not a phone. I got branded for that in my comments before. So the things that are really nice about this, and you'll check it at the end of the video, is that I love the idea that I can literally just sit it like this. Because I can't use my clamp, which I gave away to my son anyways, um, that goes on here to do that. So what I'm going to have to do is if, since this is not my actual phone, a uh, phablet, excuse me, my actual duo, then I'm not going to go all out trying to get all these devices for it to test a bunch of different stuff because it, it, I could just, uh, they could walk in tomorrow and be like, hey, look, uh, can you reset that phone and hand it over? Uh, I'm doing pretty good with their products right now, but you never know. They could say that. Uh, let's try something else right now. I really want to try Dragon Age, uh, Dragon Quest. I haven't played Dragon Quest since PS2. It's been a while. But to get back to the actual device, I've been running into some glitches lately. Um, when you actually open it up, See if I can get it to do it and to try to pull up. It's actually working now, but it, like everything will pop up there in the corners and be off center. And then it would not find some of my apps. Like um, it literally, I had, I had issues finding Game Pass. Um, GeForce Now and everything obviously is on here. You saw, guys saw uh, some photos on my twi uh, Twitter, which if you don't follow my Twitter, go into the description. You'll see that, and then if you go into the About page, you'll see how you can support the channel so I can continue to do this more often, um, at least as often as a dad and husband and a full-time worker can do. Um, anyways, really big fan. I continue to get a lot of comments from customers um, every day when I'm at work, uh, working, and I pull this thing out. And I've been trying to use it as a daily driver, but I still have not put my SIM card in it. So the one thing I have to be honest about with this thing is that I continue to use the OnePlus that I'm recording on right now as my daily driver because I don't want to move the SIM card and then I, I'm kind of like a stickler. I don't want to pay the fee and then just give the device away uh, for $35. It's not worth it considering I do my videos for free. Yeah, but I might do that. I'm going to call them and see if I can get it waived just to test this out. And if I can keep this for a couple more days, uh, have this as my full daily driver instead of just when I'm at work where I walk around with it. Uh, the other thing notice if I can get that in the video you'll notice right here where everything turns blue a little bit I guess for this from my pockets now the pants I just got for Christmas they're brand new but I nothing else obviously this is all else glass but I get this 
discoloration from my jeans right on it. And I also wish that they had pre-installed the screen protector on it, right? The screen protector. That way I can just put like this in my pocket. And I tried this a couple times the other day. It got warm in my pocket and realized that I left it on um, because obviously where you hold it to put it in your pocket. So what I'm learning to have to do is to close it, then slide my thumb down and then put it in my back pocket. Um, I can actually do it in these pants now and then walk around with it. I won't do it in these pants because these pants, the back pocket is very loose and I already uh, broke my previous phone once. Uh, running out of the gym to grab my son who uh, decided he wanted to take off. My phone flew out of it, hit the concrete, and shattered. Um, luckily, I had a protection plane on it. And it wasn't an all-glass phone. It's just metal and glass. It's a Pixel 2. This will shatter all over the place. Now, the other thing that I've been doing at work uh, as well, I don't have a pen here, but um, like when I'm doing my day trading or something, I can literally have my YouTube video up here and literally be writing down here while I'm watching it. Okay, this goes back to me talking about prosumer devices or people that want to be productive or just do things differently. Um, I watch uh, most of my videos, I watch about this um, or information I read about this. If it, I'm not getting it myself, I go to Shane at Scary If Little. I highly recommend checking him out. He, I like him a lot because he covers the duo, but another reason I like his channel a lot is that he does weird, he likes weird things like I do. Like he actually has a Chromebook duet, I have that. He has the duo, which I'm testing here. Um, and then I play Linux gaming, which is going to be a video coming soon where I've been playing gaming on, uh, I've been gaming on Pop! OS, which includes World of Warcraft and other devices. And thanks to open source software, I'm actually able to get my full experience on it, regardless if it's supported or not. But getting back to the duo, um, there's a lot that needs to come. And I was really, really hoping, and I still am now, excuse me, I still am now that I can get um, the... Uh, Android 11 on this. So I think that's gonna change a lot. I wanna see some more updates. I also have not installed, um, hey look, I actually got a heart um, from Scary If Literal right on the video. So thanks Shane if you watch the video this long um, and see that, again, I appreciate you and your channel. Um, it's literally one of the channels I really look forward to seeing every single video. Uh, the only one I haven't watched so far that you've come out with recently is the one about what it, um, when it shocked someone. I've seen the picture. I'll probably watch that after this while I'm eating my lunch that's sitting over there uh, getting warm. That's a salad. Um, but again, I get back to the fact this this device is for prosumers or people like myself that just like have things that are different than anyone else. That's one of the reasons I got a OnePlus. Everybody's running around with their Samsung phones and their um, phones from the fruit company. And I, that's not me. Uh, I don't really like mainstream. I like to live against the grain. I like to do things a little different um, and to test that. And the, some of the main reasons is are that the people that support these kind of devices and mod these kind of devices, they tend to put a lot more work into it. For example, I'm using Mastodon now and testing it out as a uh, alternate social media just to support FOSS, free open source media, and the Fediverse, which I think is the future of media. Uh, social media or everything where you have all these different, you know, this universe of all these things that works together. And I hope the same thing happens with devices like this. I would love to see Microsoft continue this and make some modifications. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to record a video right after this about some other things um, that I want to touch base on. But the main thing about this video was gaming on it. And I'm really, really enjoying it so far. Especially, like I said, I mean, just. This right here, this is amazing. Like being able to flip it like this, it's absolutely amazing. But anyways, I'm gonna end this video because at the end of it, I'm gonna jump into Kind Master. Um, probably put my logo in this time instead of just uploading directly. Gotta create a uh, thumbnail and then I'm gonna take the gameplay, put it at the end. Uh, so you can just skip across and you'll see it. Obviously just scrub the video, you'll find it, right? Again, everybody that's been supporting the channel, thank you very much. You guys are truly legends and we'll see you next time. Take care. All right, let's check out Game Pass on. Oh man, this is Dragon Age Inquisition. I've never played this before. So, character creation, select race and appearance. I don't know. Just um, let's give a dwarf. Uh, 
Um, rogue dual wield, rogue archer, warrior two handed. Let's do two handed. It's bad boy. Normal. Let's go casual just for this. All right, so. Good to go here. World state import, confirm. I've never played this before. Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition's been around for a while. But. Let's see if this helps at all with the glare. According to another screen, this does not go very well. Maybe I just should just screen record a little bit here. So the idea here is I just want to check out Game Pass on the the new Game Pass. I haven't played Game Pass in a while. I just got it uh, ultimately back because of my Xbox here, and um, I want to figure out how well this did on the Duo. This looks pretty awesome so far. Definitely took a while for it to load up when I first loaded it. And I was getting all this stuff ready for recording. And let's go, I mean, I don't really care. with that for now <laughs> the, I mean this is an older game so the video is not really that great Inquisition came out in what, 2015 I think yeah because I was still I wasn't even at my current job I was at um, a previous job so uh, play games on your Android mobile device. So basically what we're doing is we're, we're streaming directly off the cloud right now. We're not streaming off of the Xbox at all. So probably some get rid of this. There we go. Now first thing we're gonna notice is obviously it doesn't fill the three by two ratio. So, hmm. You can see the logo at the top is letting us know how good the signal is. And let's see. Huh, you can see the reflection of the actual camera. And the little HP light I have on top of it there. So I kind of want to just, on this, just play a little bit, and I'm probably going to link it in Kind Master, or edit in Kind Master, so I can actually have more than one. Let's see. Come on. I should have jumped into something a little bit quicker. Yeah, it's definitely 2015. You can tell this is a early Xbox One title, the first couple of years, anyways. And they would it be nice is if the uh oh. Uh, let's see. Um, you think I did? Uh, that's horrible. Uh oh.
Let's get past this stuff and let's see what's going on. I can figure out the story later. I'm not actually going to play this game, probably. If I do, I'll probably do it on PC Pass. Oh man, what is going on there? Alright, so how do you actually get out? Oh, here's settings here. Quick game, quick game. Pretty decent experience. Uh, the streaming was nice. Um, it didn't play instantly. Um, ease of use was pretty good too. I'll give them that. All right. Let's see what else we have here going on. Um, you can actually flip up and get the top side as well. So, okay, go home. All right, so what do we have going on here? We got, let's go to the home screen. Now, one of the things I did notice when I first got in here is you could go to the PC side. Okay. And, okay. The medium pre-installed to play on day one. Oh, nice. Okay. That must be a Microsoft title. No Man's Sky. Let's figure out what's inside the settings here. Loading your downloads. Okay, that's games that I've got pre-installed. Spider Spore 9. Okay. Smite Turtles. I don't do that stuff. All right, so let's let's try something that might be a little easier to do. Um, let's play. There's a section where it says touch. Uh, play with touch. So let's do. Let's play here. Let's see what we can get going here. Let's watch and see how long this actually takes to pick up here. I wonder, being as this is their phone, if they'll ever do anything that will make it support, like, certain features. But I kind of want to do this to kind of show how long it actually takes to load up. Uh, so, let's try to get this up a little bit brighter. There we go. Probably hear the music from the other room where my boys are what, uh, getting their quiet time. All right, so this does take a while to come up. It takes a while, and I don't want this video to go on too long so I'm going to stop it here and this will be at the end of my commentary.